Hill. I'm a landscape architect and, and I'll be uh, uh, very much a part of the, uh, the team that works on your plan. We start with just the, um, your new uh, brand, uh, Amherst, the perfect slice of Virginia. And, you know, the Parks and Recreation uh, Master Plan is really a way to, to really show the brand. It's, it's really uh, about making your parks, your recreation, uh, the best it can possibly be. What is a, a Parks and Recreation Plan? First, it provides an assessment of the current conditions of all of your parks and your recreational facilities. It's, our plan will be inspired by public engagement, which details how Amherst citizens want their parks and want their programs. It provides insight and direction for future public expenditure decisions, things like park infrastructure, sports, lifetime activities and programs, and public services. Our time frame is for 10 to 20 years with priorities for immediate, mid-range, and long-range programs and development. And the Parks Master Plan will be used as a guide by public officials, citizens, clubs, and other public entities through the years. We go through an extensive public engagement process. Then we'll develop concepts for planning for parks, <coughs> research funding and implementation methods. And then we'll go, uh, once we have that in place, we'll come back with uh, master planning and public acceptance period for the, for the work. Again, showing it back to the public to make sure we've gotten it all just right. And then we'll put together the final deliverable package. Uh, this, uh, this chart shows a little bit more detail about that process. We, we start uh, in October 23, uh, this month right now, uh, with introductions and uh, with information gathering. Uh, later, uh, we do some of the public engagement, and there are a number of different ways that we'll try to engage the public. We'll have a website with a questionnaire on it. We will interview uh, different stakeholders who are experts in, in different types of parks and recreation themes. We'll go to public events. In fact, in October, we're going to three, the uh, Wine and Garlic Festival, the Spooktacular, and the County Fair. <laughs> so it gives people a lot of chances to, to visit our design team. Um, uh, then, uh, between um, May 2024 and July, we'll really get into the concept planning. July 2024 and August, how to implement it, and bring it back to you in September and October of next year. So you, it takes about a year process to get this completely uh, put together. Face presence during the 12 month process. Uh, it'll be available on the county website and uh, also available through the Parks and Rec web uh, Facebook page. Um, this is where we'll ha host the public survey. Uh, we'll also have focus groups and the community events, and occasionally we'll bring this back to the board uh, with comments. We, we want to make sure that you're kept uh, in the process uh, throughout. 